Okay, so I'm going to show how to use Ruby Ripper, which is this um, <coughs> this Ripper here for, for Linux. Um, um, I'm using it on Ubuntu system here, but it works on other distros as well, of course. So first thing to do is to go and get it. Um, it's not in the um, repository. Uh, so you have to go and get it. The, the way to find this is to go put Ruby Ripper get deb in um, search engine and you probably come to this page. The latest version is here, 0601. So click on that and install it. All right, so that's the first step. I actually get the software. Then after that, we are um, going to bring it up. You can double click on it and bring it up if you want. But I try to do everything from the command line here because it um, seems to work better with the uh, now you need to enter this here, RRIP, RIP, Ruby Ripper, and under slash GUI to bring it up. So let's do that. So that brings up the um, the Ripper. Now, um, three DBs there, so we've got all the information. Um, we leave that as is, doesn't matter. Because we want to rip to lossless formats, so we're going to have to make some changes. So preferences there. Uh, one of the options you have as well on Ruby Ripper is you can rip to a single file if you want to. We're not going to do that here, but with the, the cue sheet, so codec. Now, I've already got it set for shorten here, which you could use, but could use the first time. So you need to have a, I don't want to do FLAC, I don't want to do MP3, I want it just to be encoded to shorten. So I'm going to do one track to shorten format. Um, in fact, maybe use, we'll use something else. We'll use... Um, WAF pack because um, most people will be using this kind of format. So, so elsewhere, I will link this on the on the page. I've got the um, the external command line which you need for um, WAF pack. It's quite a long one because it's got the tagging in there. So let's remove shorten and put the WAF pack. Yeah, so it gives you all the you've got the um, Okay, let's do that. So we exit that. It's already, and then in the command line, I put it on CLI for client, and now we do this here. Select the tracks to rip number one. Uh, should all tracks be ripped? No. And then two for the ones you want to keep. So two, and then say we're going to do track number one. Do you want to make any changes? No, I don't. And then we are, there we go. So it's it's ripping it there. Okay, why it's doing that? I'm going to show you how to um, get the all the codecs that you need for if you want to use something different from um, you know WAF back in this case. So I've got I've got them all listed here. Uh, but if you go to this page here, and the address is there, I can't link that on YouTube because they don't let you do the forward slash. But you can just copy it from the screen. Um, I've put shorten MP3 HD, MP4 IL, Spawn Camp Ape, you know, the, the, the one called Mac, which is basically the one for Ape. So if you wanted that, for example, click on here and it will download. Okay, this is a deb, so it's easy. If you wanted the shorten, uh, shorten there as well, zip as well. So you, you just install and put this into your, your home folder. Okay, now. Once you've done that, very, very important, you need to, I've written it here, very important, you need to, before you do any of, of the above, you need to move your codec to USR bin and make it executable. So sudo mv for move, you can do cp if you want to keep it also in the in the, um, um, the home folder, name of codec, and then USR bin. Then you have to make it executable, that's very important, otherwise it doesn't work in, um, in Ruby Ripper. So CD USR bin, then you change it to executable like that. So straight straightforward stuff, just three lines, move it, go into the USR bin and make it executable. Okay, let's have a look, see how it's doing over there. Uh, it's ripping, okay, it rips twice in um, Ruby Ripper. That's the whole point of the, the Ripper, that it does two rips and compares them to make sure that the rip has been done properly very much the way EAC does it on, on Windows. 
Okay, so we'll leave that alone for now. Um, okay, all the external command lines that you need, I can show them to you here slowly so you can copy them off the screen. So shorten is that one. Alak is quite long, so I will I will I will copy this on the uh, YouTube page. Same for Wavepack. Same here. Uh, TTA True Audio. If you wanted to do that, you've got the code here for that. Ape is fairly straightforward. Just that. I've got some non-lossless formats here as well, like Og and uh, M4A. Okay, so I'll try and for if you want to do Bonk, which is a very unusual format. Uh, which will play in Winamp and um, Fubar, but not on any of the um, the Linux system. Um, you can do that there. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's doing back there. It's still on the first one. It takes a while. Ruby Ripper is not a fast ripper, but it, it gives you a good rip, a good quality rip in the end. Okay, so we'll leave that alone. I think basically that's all you need to know. Um, you need to move the codec to the USR bin, do that business here, and then find the external encoding line, which will list on the page, and that's it. Right, and within a couple of minutes you'd have the, uh, the file there. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching, and um, hope it's useful to some of you.